dream meaning of saw. To see a saw in your dream refers to an incident, a person, or a thing which you didn't have. Alternatively, this dream is telling you that you will remember an issue which you wanted to have before but you didn't achieve. To chop something with a saw in your dream means that you will close your old love story completely, a commodity which you bought a long time ago and value greatly will spoil. To see an electrical, motorized saw in your dream may imply that your old friend whose financial condition is better than you will always mention about his or her possessions in order to make a display to you. However, after a while, this person will want your help. To see a rusty and blind saw in your dream may denote that you will turn your back on your relatives who want to pull you into your old mistakes by getting yourself under control. To dream that the teeth of saw are bright and sharp suggests that you will easily get a commodity which you didn't get in old times. If the teeth of saw are lacking and dull in your dream, you will meet with a person whom you couldn't throw from your heart and be relaxed by saying the statements which you couldn't say before. To chop or kill a person with a saw in your dream means that by teaching a lesson to an enemy who bears resentment against you, you will provide that this person won't confront you anymore. To chop an animal's meat, bone, or organs with a saw or separate into the pieces in your dream may indicate that your vow occurs or will occur in a short time and because of this you should make an attempt to do your vow. To see of buying a saw in your dream denotes that you will come together with an old friend. If you see or give a saw to a person in your dream, you will separate your way with your old friend and give up the partnership. To dream that you chop a tree with a saw symbolizes a normal life. To dream that you try to chop the hard objects such as stone, marble, iron may denote that you will have everything which you want. Why do we dream? There are several hypotheses and concepts as to why we dream. Are dreams merely part of the sleep cycle or do they serve some other purpose? Possible explanations for why we dream include To represent unconscious desires and wishes To interpret random signals from the brain and body during sleep To consolidate and process information gathered during the day to work as a form of psychotherapy. From converging evidence and new research methodologies, researchers have speculated that dreaming is offline memory reprocessing, consolidates learning and memory tasks, is a subsystem of the waking default network, which is active during mind wandering and daydreaming. Dreaming could be seen as cognitive simulation of real-life experiences. Participates in the development of cognitive capabilities. Is psychoanalytic, dreams are highly meaningful reflections of unconscious mental functioning. Is a unique state of consciousness that incorporates three temporal dimensions, experience of the present, processing of the past, and preparation for the future. Provides a psychological space where overwhelming, contradictory, or highly complex notions can be brought together by the dreaming ego that would be unsettling while awake. This process serves the need for psychological balance and equilibrium. As with many things concerning the brain and unconscious thought, there is so much that remains unknown about dreaming. Dreams are difficult to study in a laboratory. As technology and new research techniques are developed, the understanding of dreams will continue to grow. Why are dreams hard to remember? Researchers estimate that 5 minutes after a dream, people have forgotten 50% of its content, increasing to 90% another 5 minutes later. 
Most dreams are entirely forgotten by the time someone wakes up. It is not known precisely why dreams are so hard to remember. However, there are several steps that people can take to improve their dream recall. These include Waking up naturally and not with an alarm Focusing on the dream as much as possible upon waking Writing down as much about the dream as possible upon waking Making recording dreams a routine A dream is a succession of images, ideas, emotions, and sensations that usually occur involuntarily in the mind during certain stages of sleep. The content and purpose of dreams are not fully understood, though they have been a topic of scientific speculation, as well as a subject of philosophical and religious interest, throughout recorded history. Dream interpretation is the attempt at drawing meaning from dreams and searching for an underlying message. The scientific study of dreams is called onirology. Dreams mainly occur in the rapid eye movement REM stage of sleep when brain activity is high and resembles that of being awake. REM sleep is revealed by continuous movements of the eyes during sleep. At times, dreams may occur during other stages of sleep. However, these dreams tend to be much less vivid or memorable. The length of a dream can vary, they may last for a few seconds, or approximately 20 to 30 minutes. People are more likely to remember the dream if they are awakened during the REM phase. The average person has 3 to 5 dreams per night, and some may have up to 7, However, most dreams are immediately or quickly forgotten. Dreams tend to last longer as the night progresses. During a full 8 hour night sleep, most dreams occur in the typical 2 hours of REM. Opinions about the meaning of dreams have varied and shifted through time and culture. Many endorse the Freudian theory of dreams, that dreams reveal insight into hidden desires and emotions. Other prominent theories include those suggesting that dreams assist in memory formation, problem solving, or simply are a product of random brain activation. The earliest recorded dreams were acquired from materials dating back approximately 5,000 years, in Mesopotamia, where they were documented on clay tablets. In the Greek and Roman periods, the people believed that dreams were direct messages from deities or deceased persons, and that they predicted the future. Some cultures practiced dream incubation with the intention of cultivating dreams that are of prophecy. Sigmund Freud, who developed the psychological discipline of psychoanalysis, wrote extensively about dream theories and their interpretations in the early 1900s. He explained dreams as manifestations of one's deepest desires and anxieties, often relating to repressed childhood memories or obsessions. Furthermore, he believed that virtually every dream topic, regardless of its content, represented the release of sexual tension. In the interpretation of dream, Freud developed a psychological technique to interpret dreams and devised a series of guidelines to understand the symbols and motifs that appear in our dreams. In modern times, dreams have been seen as a connection to the unconscious mind. They range from normal and ordinary to overly surreal and bizarre. Dreams can have varying natures, such as being frightening, exciting, magical, melancholic, adventurous, or sexual. The events in dreams are generally outside the control of the dreamer, with the exception of lucid dreaming, where the dreamer is self-aware. Dreams can at times make a creative thought occur to the person or give a sense of inspiration. <laughs>